Hi, this is Brad Linder with Linux Smartphones, and this is a PinePhone smartphone running Manjaro Arm Plasma Mobile Beta 1, which was released on December 23rd, 2020. And it's uh, got the Manjaro Arm operating system with the Plasma Mobile user interface. And both of those teams of developers have been doing interesting things in the last couple of months. The Manjaro Arm team has released a number of uh, builds of their software. Uh, previously, most of them had been based on the Fosh phone shell user interface. Plasma Mobile, meanwhile, has been sort of optimizing their mobile-friendly version of KDE Plasma. And this brings those two together in a way that's actually pretty similar to what you'll get if you pre-order the um, PinePhone KDE Community Edition smartphone, which will also have this combination. Uh, there's a couple of nice features here. The flashlight is working, which is something that uh, more and more Linux distributions to the PinePhone seem to have working. Automatic screen rotation is working, so you can use the phone in portrait or landscape modes. Oops. And there's also this night color feature, which reduces the blue light emitted by the phone. So some people find that more comfortable when viewing the screen at nighttime, for instance. Uh, you can see I went ahead and accidentally opened an application. So that's what the task switcher looks like. Um, let's load another one. Let's do calculator. And so you can see we've got our list of running applications right here. We can close them and we can swipe, sort of tap that carrot to get our list of applications and swipe to get more. Uh, other things that come preloaded include a uh, Discover sort of uh, app store package manager um, software updater. So in here you can look for different applications that you might want to install. Some of them are going to be mobile friendly. Some of them might not be. Uh, you can search for updates and so on. There's also a file manager, image gallery, and the Megapixels camera application, which loads pretty quickly. But once it does load, you'll notice that it takes a while for the viewfinder to come up here. And then once it does, it can be a little bit wonky, which is what I'm about to demonstrate. Uh, so we've got something we want to take a picture of here, and I don't see it on the screen. There it is. Um, this is a particularly weird instance, I've seen it look better previously. Uh, but if we go sideways, you can see that the screen orientation is still flipped. And I'm actually going to go ahead and close that and try launching it again, just to see if we can at least focus a little bit more clearly. So this is something that uh, that I've sort of gotten used to uh, when using the PinePhone, which is that often it takes a little while for applications to load. Um, but it's a $150 smartphone with uh, pretty basic hardware, and um, the software is very much a work in progress. All right, so now we've got the app loaded properly. Picture looks a little bit less wonky, but you can still see that the viewfinder has got some lag in it. But we can take a picture, and we can flip cameras. And here you can see that... The image is a little bit green, I would say, but I can take a selfie. And then once I've done that, I can go in and say, open the Coco application and take a look at pictures. Again, it takes a little while to launch, but once it launches, it tends to run okay. I'm not really sure why it's doing this, but it seems every time I take a picture with the camera, it creates one of these sort of uh, abstract art images as well. So uh, that's a quick look at some of the basic functions. There's also the Angelfish web browser, um, which again, takes a moment to load, but once it does, uh, you can use it to access all sorts of applications on the web if you don't necessarily have local apps, or you can just use it for reading the news uh, from websites like, say, Linux smartphones, where you can find out more about recent releases of Manjaro Arm and other operating systems. So uh, that works. Let's open up a new browser tab. And I'll do a quick demo of video playback. Also, I guess we just did a quick demo of the keyboard.
this is the GMK Nook box, which is a tiny little desktop computer. It measures about 2.4 or by 2.4 by 1.7 inches. Has an Intel Celeron quad core Gemini Lake refresh processor. And I've uh, shown a couple of other videos showing this running Ubuntu and Windows and using it as a sort of general purpose. Somebody rightly, rightfully asked, um, hey, what about using LibreLike, a lightweight Linux distribution that is really just designed for media centric? So it can stream from YouTube. I feel like video playback is a little bit on the choppy side, but basically audio works, video works, um, screen rotation works, the camera kind of works. Uh, so for work in progress software, it's really, uh, it's really not too bad. Uh, that said, I am having trouble exiting full screen right now. There we go. So we can exit the application that way. Uh, so there you go. That's a look at Manjaro ARM Plasma Mobile Beta 1 running on the Pine Phone. This is Brad Linder with Linux Smartphones, and you can find uh, more uh, information at linuxsmartphones.com and links to this software and uh, some other goodies in the description of this video as well.